Good evening. It's good to see everyone here for our fifth Sunday singing. If any men of the congregation would like to uh, lead a song, if you'll go ahead and pick it out at the appointed time, you can come up and lead your song. If you want to go ahead and mark the invitation, it'll be at number 313. 313 be our invitation song. Our first song, let's sing number 300. 300. <clears throat> Walking alone at deep and new in the skies afar, bidding the darkness come to welcome me, silver star. I have a great delight in the wonderful scenes above. God is power and might, showing his truth and love. Go for a home with God. Shine like a beacon in the 
130-130. Brightly beams our Father's mercy from His light now
Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the rain that you've blessed us with. Thank you for allowing us to meet here tonight and sing these songs and worship you and think, on, think upon you and the things you'd want us to do. Please just be with those that are sick and those that are getting sick and help them to get strong and come back to us. And Please be with us tonight. Help us concentrate on what we're doing and keep our minds here. Be with us as we leave here tonight and help us to be strong for you. And In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Number 65, 65. <clears throat> I'm bound.
294. 294.
526. Five twenty six. This world is not my home. In my opinion, this song should be sung up tempo. Just my opinion. It happens to be correct. So let's sing out and keep up. Y'all ready? This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are made of. And Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel that hope in this world anymore. They're all expecting me, and that's one thing I know. My Savior calling me, and no one would go. I know he'll take me through that I am weak and poor. And I can't be at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then, Lord, what will I do? The angels back at me from heaven's open door. And I can't be at home in this world anymore. Just up in glory land, well, eternally. The saints on every hand are shouting victory. Their song of sweet as praise straight back from heaven's so, door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. Let's try number 586. 586. <clears throat> Flee as a bird to your mountain, thou who art weary of sin. Go to the clear flowing fountain, where you may wash and be clean. it a little bit and try it one more time. It's a minor key. It's going to be hard for me to get in my brain, so y'all just hang on a second. And when I start, y'all jump right in, okay? That's good. Flee as a bird to your mountain. Yeah. 
Be 
542. Worthy of praise is Christ our Redeemer, worthy of glory, honor, and power, worthy of all our soul's adoration, worthy of and you take a mile. Now, I, I always enjoy singing, and I think most everybody here does, and I couldn't see wasting that last 15 minutes, so I appreciate him going ahead and leading some extra songs. I want to do a little experiment with you. I want you to think for just a moment about the songs that we've sung tonight, the ones that you can recall. Maybe some of them made an impression on you more than others. And then I want you to try to think of one word that summarizes the bulk of our song service tonight. Just one word. See what word you'd come up with. And when you come out, you can tell me if you and I heard the same thing. But these songs have such terrific messages contained in them. 
And I'm sure depending on different circumstances of life, different songs would say different things or bring out a different thought in your mind. But to me, 90% of the songs that we sang tonight spoke the message of companionship. Either our companionship with God while we're here or our companionship with God when this life is over or our companionship among ourselves as God's people. But a lot of the songs and the phrases and the words and the sentiment spoke to that concept, to me at least, of companionship. And of course, there are a lot of passages that speak to that as well. And two or three came to mind. I want to read one of them. It's not that long. In Romans chapter 8, beginning in verse 28, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to His purpose. For whom He did know, He did also predestinate to be conformed to the image of His Son that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them also he called. Whom he called, them he justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Listen to this. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long, and we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. You see, He's always promised to be there for us, hasn't He? You think about Hebrews chapter 13, verse 6, we can boldly say, the Lord is my helper, I will not fear what men shall do unto me. Or you think about the promise that Jesus made, and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. So many passages that could be brought into that concept of companionship, either with God here, God later, or one another, as we enjoy that companionship with God here on this earth. But all of that is found in Christ. That's a spiritual blessing that we enjoy. In Christ, companionship. Companionship as brothers and sisters in the family of God. Companionship with Christ. Companionship with God as members of the family of God. Having God as our Father. And that companionship is dependent upon our continuing in faithful service to God. So tonight as we extend the Lord's invitation, think about those things. Do you enjoy at this point a companionship with God, a father-son, father-daughter relationship? Do you enjoy that that brother-sister relationship in the family of God with others who enjoy that companionship with the Father? You see, that's what it's all about. And all of that in preparation for an eternal companionship 
with God, with Christ, with the Holy Spirit, with the faith of all, of all ages, eternally, when this life is over. Tonight, if you don't enjoy that now and you don't have the hope of it in the hereafter, if you need to be baptized into Christ, or you need to come back home as a child of God who's wandered away, think about it. With whom are you enjoying companionship tonight? Is it God? Is it Christ? Is it the brethren? Or is it the world? If you need to make some changes to change that situation, let us encourage you to do it. So we stand together and sing the song of invitation. Welcome to those who were not with us this morning. For those that are visiting with us, we're certainly glad you've decided to be here. Please take a moment. If you were not here this morning, fill out an attendance card and leave that on the table as you depart so that we may have a record of your visit here with us today. I'll remind you of those on our prayer list. Frank Head's brother, Callaway Head, remains at room 362 at Tanner and Carrollton, and he's not doing very well. Gail Woody was with us this morning. She's hopeful of getting her stitches out. She had foot surgery this past week but she is doing better. J.W. Gray is now at home. He's not doing well. He's in hospice care at this time, so your support and prayer for the family is very welcome. Betty McClendon, this is Shirley, and Earlene's sister is still in the hospital in Roswell, Georgia. She's not doing well, and your prayers requested on her behalf and her family. Joanne Thompson, this is Cheryl Edwards' aunt, is scheduled to have surgery this coming Friday, December the 5th, and also Freda Gray was not feeling well and was at home today. <clears throat> also, Joan Thurman continues at home in her recovery also. The holiday party is next Saturday here at the building. It's December the 6th. It is 5.30 p.m. If you have yet to sign the list, Mark has that list with him. Yes, sir. Okay. The, 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 cost is nine dollars per person if you still want to come and you're having difficulty with that uh, fee let one of the elders know and we'll take care of it but it's nine dollars per person it will be a barbecue and all the trimmings billy bobs i think billy bobs right is catering it for us the same folks that are on the south south park street in Carrollton. but they are going to take care of uh, the uh, meal which will be barbecue and all the trimmings and it will be here at the building nine dollars each please give your uh, money to mark and or Deborah before Wednesday night or no later than Wednesday night <clears throat> again our coming home day we've been uh, working up toward this day for some time now but it's almost upon us it is next Sunday it's December the 7th and it is uh, almost here the potluck will be after the morning service so if you would help us in that effort also CHD will meet tonight after our evening service in the fellowship hall <coughs> 
if you would, those that are still helping us with that, we'd like to meet with you one more time. The financial statement for the month of October is in the foyer. If you wish to retrieve a copy of that, it is in the foyer for your review. Lord's Supper is kept prepared for those that wish to observe it. Once we stand to sing, go through this door, second door on the right, and down the hall, there will be someone there to serve you. We want to make sure that we uh, take care of all of our young ladies, and we do have a request for our closing song, and I'll try my best to lead it. It's number 475. 475 will be our final song. Should we mention anything else? Our next service is Wednesday night at 7 o'clock, and we hope to see each other at that time. If there's nothing else, if you'll stand, we'll sing and be dismissed. <clears throat> All right, y'all sing out now. There's a message true and glad for the sinful and the sad. Bring it out. Father, we thank thee for this time that we've had to come together to sing these songs of praise to thy high name. We pray that we have listened to the words. We pray that you'll be with us as we begin our work week, our school week. We pray that you'll help us to be strong. We pray for those of our number that are sick, those that are in the hospital, those that are confined to their homes. We pray that you'll bless them and help them to get well. Heavenly Father, we pray that you might forgive us of our sins. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.